Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to share with you all my views about few sunscreens that I tried from the brand La Roche Posay. La Roche Posay is one of my top favorite skincare brands. I don't know, I have this thing for French pharmaceutical brands uh, like Avene or Bajam or La Roche Posay. Whatever products I tried from these brands, they work amazingly on my skin. Uh, I really love them. Uh, I heard about this brand uh, from BJ Anusha's YouTube channel. I used to follow her youtube channel and um, i think this was eight years ago i heard about this sunscreen and i went to a health and glow store and bought it ever since i've been using that one it's my holy grail sunscreens of all time especially the dry touch uh, gel one there are uh, variants in the dry touch gel too um, there's this tinted version which i am not a fan of i like a uh, normal sunscreen I have sensitive combination acne prone skin and I prefer my sunscreens to be you know uh, gel or lotion kind of consistency because my skin also feels a bit dry so yeah I don't like super mattifying sunscreens that's not my uh, preference uh, currently La Roche Posay did out their business from India so you have to ship the products from US or you can try this website called box of colors I personally haven't uh, you know ordered products from that uh, website but i've seen people on instagram getting uh, la roche posay sunscreens from that uh, website so i think it's a genuine website you can try it out um i usually ask my sister who's staying in us to get um, a bulk of la roche posay sunscreens for me when she's traveling to india or whenever i visit her i will get like two to three tubes of this uh, sunscreen with me so i've tried uh, so many variants of the sunscreen from the same brand so i thought it would be helpful for you guys if i uh, you know kind of uh, explain the texture the performance you can make a decision of which sunscreen variant to get from this brand i've tried like total five sunscreen variants from the brand so without further ado let's get started i'll start by reviewing this anthelios melted milk sunscreen uh, it has an spf of 100 you can use it for both your face and body while other sunscreens are getting bashed for not living up to their stated uh, spf potential this one has earned a perfect score from customer reports not for one year but for four years in a row so yes you uh, don't need to worry about the performance of the sunscreen i'll explain its spreadability texture and how it feels on the skin and things like that uh, it has a very creamy consistency uh, i'm not a fan of creamy textured uh, sunscreens because they make me look so greasy with time the thing i like about this sunscreen is it disappears uh, into my skin with just a little bit of rubbing and uh, it doesn't uh, give any sort of white or gray cast another con is that it will sting like hell if the sunscreen gets into your eye uh, this sunscreen it kind of melts on the screen so whenever you apply the sunscreen near the eye area the product will definitely melt and it will get into your eyes and it will sting like hell so be careful and avoid your eye area when you're using this particular variant of sunscreen oh my god with time the sunscreen will settle into your fine lines and the smile lines that you have it will also come off if you sweat a lot i would use this more for the body than the face because uh, i already told you that it will make me look greasy right so i don't like that kind of feel on my skin so i prefer to use the sunscreen on my body and it also spreads easily so applying it to my legs or hands doesn't feel like a cardio another con is that because of the sunscreen texture it's hard to uh, control this tube dispenser it's way too easy to get too much product out of the tube and uh, you can't put it back right so it's a huge con and you don't need to worry about uh, the sunburn or uh, tan issue because this definitely works in protecting your skin it's just that i don't like the feel like the consistency of the sunscreen i don't like looking like a grease ball even if you have super dry skin i think it will definitely feel greasy on your face too
tried is this Anthelios Clear Skin Dry Touch Sunscreen. Uh, it has an SPF of 60. Uh, this has rather matte finish and stays uh, relevantly dry to touch throughout the day. It doesn't feel 100% mattifying on your skin but my face seems to produce much less oil uh, while using this product. Out of all the variants that I've tried from the La Roche Posay brand, this is the one I hate the most because it feels a lot. It feels horribly without anything underneath or on top. It leaves streaks and uh, settle into your fine lines and smile lines within some time. And it will also, you know, get into your eyebrow area. It definitely leaves a bit of white cast, but it will settle with time. If you're someone who wears makeup on daily basis, uh, just don't invest in this sunscreen because you can't uh, use makeup on top of the sunscreen, it will fill a lot. This is definitely not an everyday sunscreen, it's like a beach day only sunscreen. tried is the dry touch tinted variant um, I can't find it right now but I'll post a video of me applying the sunscreen on my face here it has a very thick texture and it's a bit of task to uh, you know blend the sunscreen into your face because it uh, kind of dries onto my face really quickly uh, it does provide a bit of coverage nothing like a full coverage it does cover a bit of redness that you have or the light uh, spots or the marks that you have it doesn't uh, mattifies your skin a lot it leaves with that nice dewy effect but the thing is it really looks patchy if you have super dry skin and uh, if you apply like uh, two fingers or three fingers of this tinted sunscreen it will definitely look patchy and people will notice that you have something on your face if you have darker skin tone uh, just skip this tinted sunscreen it will not suit you uh, it will look a bit grayish or ghostly that tint is really not a universal shade it kind of looks like a bb cream if applied in you know small quantities uh, if you have like a bit of freckles they'll still see through but i really like how it makes your skin glow unlike other uh, sunscreen variants from the same brand this comes with a pump uh, i really like the packaging of the sunscreen if you're applying like two fingers or three fingers of the sunscreen it will definitely settle into your fine lines too so yeah keep that in mind while purchasing the sunscreen <music>
because my favorite app gone through like tubes and tubes of that uh, sunscreen it does feel like a task to apply it but once you apply the sunscreen it just feels super nice it will not leave any kind of white cast on your skin unlike the name which says the dry touch sunscreen it will not dry out your skin it doesn't feel super mattifying it will it will mattify your skin but it will also give that dewy look uh, i'm not a makeup kind of person i'll just apply the sunscreen some mascara and lipstick i'm done for the day it really gives that nice lit from within kind of look i really really love that sunscreen i don't have that with me right now i have so many sunscreens that i have both that i have to go through so yeah after i've used all these sunscreens and i again get that variant that's my holy grail sunscreen and i will recommend you guys to get that one too if you want to try sunscreens from la roche posay hope you guys find this video useful if you do please give a thumbs up to this video and also do subscribe to my channel